Have you ever received an apology that felt insincere or manipulative? If so, you might have been dealing with a narcissist. Narcissists are known for their grandiose sense of self-importance and lack of empathy for others, and these traits often shine through in their apologies, or lack thereof. Narcissistic apologies are a unique breed. They often feel hollow, insincere, or even manipulative. That's because, for a narcissist, an apology isn't a genuine expression of remorse. Instead, it's a tool, a means to an end. They're not saying sorry because they feel bad about what they've done. They're saying sorry to get what they want, whether that's your forgiveness, your sympathy, or simply to get you off their back. Understanding these types of apologies is crucial for your well-being. When you can recognize a narcissistic apology, you can learn to respond in a way that protects your emotional health, maintains your boundaries, and prevents further manipulation. So, what does a narcissistic apology look like? There's no one-size-fits-all answer. Narcissists are individuals, and their apologies can take many forms. However, there are a few common tactics that many narcissists use to manipulate others through their apologies. Some might use drama and theatrics, making grand emotional apologies designed to tug at your heartstrings. Others might give long-winded, convoluted apologies, burying the actual apology under a mountain of excuses and deflections. Some might resort to tears, using their own distress to make you feel guilty and sympathetic. And some might simply insist that they've already apologized, using this as an excuse to avoid taking responsibility for their actions. All of these tactics have one thing in common. They're designed to shift the focus away from the narcissist's wrongdoing and onto something else, whether that's their own feelings, your perceived overreaction, or the supposedly extenuating circumstances that forced them to behave badly. Now that we understand the concept, let's delve into the types of narcissistic apologies. First up, we have the dramatic apology. It's as theatrical as it sounds. This is the kind of apology where the narcissist puts on a grand performance, pulling out all the stops to make you believe just how sorry they are. I am so sorry. Can't you see how much I love you? I would never want to hurt you. I promise that this will never happen again. They might even bring gifts like flowers or thoughtful cards to add weight to their words. But here's the catch. This type of apology, as genuine as it may seem, especially in the early stages of a relationship, is more about the narcissist's feelings than yours. It's about their need to be seen as the good guy, the one who is capable of remorse and change. However, the dramatic apology often lacks one critical element, real accountability. Narcissists use this type of apology to avoid taking responsibility for their actions and the harm they've caused. They focus on their intentions, their love for you, and their promises for the future, rather than acknowledging the pain they've inflicted. This is not an apology. It's a manipulation tactic designed to keep you hooked. So, how do we respond to a dramatic apology? The key is to shift the focus from their intentions to the impact of their actions. Even if they had the best intentions, that doesn't negate the fact that their behavior hurt you. You can respond by saying, I appreciate your apology, but it's crucial to understand that your actions have hurt me. It's not about what you meant to do, it's about what you did. This approach sends a clear message. You're not easily swayed by their theatrics and you're holding them accountable for their actions. It might be uncomfortable, but it's an essential step in setting boundaries and protecting your well-being in a relationship with a narcissist. Remember, it's not about their intentions, it's about their impact. Because at the end of the day, an apology without accountability is just another way to avoid responsibility. Next, we have the long-winded apology. This one's a marathon, not a sprint. Imagine a narcissist weaving a detailed tapestry of reasons, excuses, and justifications for their behavior. This is the essence of the long-winded apology. The narcissist becomes a storyteller, spinning a complex narrative that ultimately aims to distract and deflect from the issue at hand. They might say something like, you don't understand, this morning, I woke up with such a headache and I had three missed calls from my mom. You know, she's been so stressed dealing with my brother lately, I always have to ensure I'm there for her too. And then there was so much traffic on the way to my office. And then, they're hoping that by the end of this epic tale, 
you're so bewildered or exhausted that you've forgotten what you were upset about in the first place. They're hoping you'll be so caught up in their narrative that you'll overlook their behavior. But remember, this isn't an apology, it's a deflection. So how do you respond to the long-winded apology? The key is to stay focused. Don't get lost in their labyrinth of excuses. Instead, focus on the facts and how their actions made you feel. You can say something like, I hear that you're stressed and I'm sorry you're going through so much, but I won't tolerate you yelling at me. It's important to acknowledge their feelings, but your feelings and boundaries are equally important. Stay firm, stay grounded in your reality. Remember, an apology without change is just manipulation, and you don't have to accept that. So, when you're faced with a long-winded apology, remember, it's not about their elaborate story, it's about their actions, and more importantly, it's about how their actions have affected you. Keep in mind, your feelings and boundaries are valid, regardless of their excuses. Now, let's talk about the sobbing apology. This one's a real tearjerker. Sobbing apologies are often used by narcissists to draw you in and make you feel as if they are deeply remorseful for their actions. But don't be fooled. Narcissists are proficient actors, and their tears can be just another tool in their manipulation toolbox. In a sobbing apology, the narcissist sheds tears, expressing how terrible they feel about their actions. The aim is to flip the script and make themselves the victim. They may say things like, I can't believe I hurt you like that. I'm so sorry, it's just that I'm under so much stress and I didn't mean to take it out on you. But beware, this apology isn't about you or your feelings. It's about diverting attention away from their actions and onto their feelings. By sobbing, they're trying to evoke your sympathy and compassion, hoping you'll forget about their hurtful behavior and instead focus on comforting them Responding to a sobbing apology can be challenging, especially if you're a naturally empathetic person. When you see someone in tears, your instinct might be to comfort them, to tell them it's okay. But in this case, it's crucial not to let your empathy overshadow your own feelings and experiences. So how should you respond to a sobbing apology? Stay firm in your truth. You can acknowledge their feelings but make it clear that their tears don't negate the impact of their actions. You might say something like, I see that you're upset, and I understand you're sorry. But your actions hurt me, and that's not okay. Remember, a real apology involves not just expressing regret, but also making an effort to change the offending behavior. And tears, no matter how genuine they may seem, are not a substitute for change. So, the next time you're faced with a sobbing apology from a narcissist, remember this. Their tears are about them, not you. It's okay to feel sympathy, but don't let their tears distract you from the real issue at hand. Remember, their tears do not invalidate your feelings. Finally, we have the already apologized apology. This one's all about avoidance. Picture this. You're having a conversation about a recurring issue and out comes the defense. I already told you that I was sorry for that. I'm not going to keep apologizing every time you get upset. Sound familiar? This is a classic move in the narcissist's playbook. They've said their piece, they've offered their apology, and in their minds, the case is closed. This tactic is less about remorse and more about sidestepping the issue. It's their way of saying, I don't want to keep having this conversation, let's move on. But here's the thing, an apology isn't a magic word that instantly heals wounds. It's a starting point for change, for growth. If the same issues keep cropping up, then the apology hasn't served its purpose. It's become a shield, a way to deflect blame and avoid the hard work of self-examination. So how do you respond? First, know this, your feelings are valid. If you're still hurting, if you're still grappling with the fallout from their actions, that's okay. You have every right to express your emotions and to ask for the respect and understanding you deserve. Secondly, stand firm in your boundaries. If they're avoiding the issue, it's because they don't want to face the discomfort of change. But you're not responsible for their comfort. You're responsible for your own well-being. Don't let them rush you into forgiveness. Don't let them push you into silence. You might say something like, I understand that you've apologized, but the issue hasn't been resolved. 
Until we address the root of the problem, this will keep happening. I need you to listen to my feelings and work with me on this. Remember, an apology without change is just manipulation. It's okay to demand better. It's okay to expect growth. Don't be swayed by their avoidance. Your feelings matter, and so does your peace of mind. To wrap things up, let's summarize the main points. We've explored the four common types of narcissistic apologies. The dramatic apology, which is often emotionally charged, but lacks accountability. The long-winded apology, a diversionary tactic that shifts blame onto external factors. The sobbing apology, an emotional ploy designed to elicit sympathy and play the victim card, and the already apologized apology, a dismissive approach used to avoid confrontation and accountability. In all these instances, remember to focus on the impact over the intention. Stay firm with your boundaries and trust your feelings. Understanding these tactics arms you with the knowledge to protect yourself from manipulation. Navigating relationships with narcissists can be challenging, but with the right tools, you can ensure your emotional well-being is safeguarded. Remember, understanding these tactics is the first step towards protecting yourself from manipulation. Stay strong and trust your instincts.